I did a video a video a minute ago, and um, it turned. It looked like I was sitting on the sun again. And there's something about where the sun is angled, um, and the way the lens is. It'll so if it looks like that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try this one more time, and if it does that, then I'm just gonna have to to post it because I got I gotta go. I got things to do. Um, so I'm gonna just uh, kind of go through this once more. I went to the doctor this morning. I had my sonogram. It looks like we have four mature ready to go. Five, um, number five, should be ready in a few days, hopefully. I got a couple of little bitty ones, but we can't wait for the little bitty ones to catch up with the big ones because the big ones are so big that by the time the little ones catch up with the big ones, the big ones are going to be too big and they're not going to be any good to me. So rather than risking the big ones, who are my leaders, my dominance, my... Um, forgot the other word the doctor said, uh, but possibly the best quality ones. Instead of uh, risking losing them, we're going to go forward and we're going to go ahead and get what we got. No more messing around. So Saturday is retrieval and that means Tuesday or Thursday will be uh, transfer. My dad called me. Did I just say that where you can understand it? My dad called me and said that he was going to head this way this weekend unless I had plans with my mother for Mother's Day. And my response to that was, Dad, please don't come this weekend. <laughs> come next weekend. And he was like, not a problem. Um, my Aunt Charlotte is coming in town Tuesday. And um, that should just be interesting. I'll put it that way. I don't know if anyone saw my previous vlog. I don't even know if I actually posted it. But um, my aunt is the one that... Um, she's having a little bit of a challenge with me doing the IVF thing. You know, it's just, it's so interesting how, especially I think when you're my age and you do something like this, people think that you're doing it because, um, you're pressured. Um, I can't do this without the help of IVF. I don't feel pressure. I feel relieved knowing that it's there. Yeah, I'm 41, but I'm also financially secure and married now thank you um, I'm married later so now it's time now it actually makes sense to start a family and um, I think that's actually bass backwards when you think okay well when you're young and you don't have anything go ahead and have your kids I'm not saying anything against people who are young that have their children I think that's great if you can do it um, you know what I married when I was 35 um, I was very immature I was very much into you know, the single life, the going out life, and I would have been a horrible mother. Um, and I was smart enough to know that, to not become one, and now that I'm old enough and um, hopefully more mature, definitely more financially secure, uh, and it's time to, you know, move on with the family, people act like, you know, it's something crazy. Really? Crazy? Now, what I think is crazy is having five kids and not being able to put food on the table. That's crazy. But no one says anything to them. Sorry, a little bitterness there. Heavy thoughts. Okay, so my sonographer um, did not bother me today because I basically had my iPhone with me and I answered emails and I did work, looked at numbers and just, you know, he came in the room and I said, hey, do you mind if I work? Because I'm real busy. <laughs> he was like, no, it's fine. Do you mind if I work? I'm like, please do. So, we have our new little understanding. We're just snippy to one another. We don't care. Um, but Dr. talked with me today because I think he was wanting to pull the plug on the program because we had so few follicles. But I um, was empowered enough to tell him, no, we're going forward. We've made it this far. We're not going to stop. Um, something can happen next month and the next month and the next month. We need to go and go ahead and do this. I don't care if it's four follicles, five follicles. It's all it takes, right? I don't want four or five babies at one time anyway. So we'll get what we can and um, hope for the best and pray. And I've had so many people praying for me for this cycle. I'm like, we can't go wrong. I mean, when God hears your prayers and answers prayers, this is going to happen. And oh my gosh, can you imagine if uh, this what is the cycle? And... Someone tried to talk me out of it. I didn't do it. I'm going to be looking back going, aren't you glad I didn't listen to you? 
But anyway, there another something else I'm forgetting to tell you. I did have to talk with, and I called my husband right after the appointment and told him the low number of follicles. He's not real happy about it, but you know what? We just have to keep reminding ourselves that it doesn't matter. I mean, I know you have a better chance if you've got 10, you know, like we did before that fertilized to, um, to get a, a rocking uh, embryo, but I'm just, I'm just going to put my faith in the Lord through the prayer that from the four or five, that's plenty. We'll get, you know, we'll, we'll get our baby from that. I mean, he, he or she is there. I just feel it. I just do. I just feel this is it. This is going to happen. And it's going to be such a story to um, think back on when the doctor was talking about canceling the cycle. And my baby was just waiting, going, no, don't cancel me. I'm here. Anyway, and it's kind of fun and exciting to think about. So, anyway, that's it. I am, uh, I just bought these two glasses. Do you like them? Yeah. You know why I had to buy these? Because I lost two pair today. Two pair of sunglasses in one day. And I know you guys are going, that girl's a dingbat. But, well, I kind of am. But seriously, the reason I lost my sunglasses is because I'm not focused. I am so not focused. I got all this stuff with IVF. My husband's got this whole, like, work thing he's stressed out about. My mother-in-law's got this whole thing that, you know, she's got a little drama going on. I'm not really so stressed out about that because I know the woman can handle it. She's one of the strongest people I know. I got family coming in town. Dad wanting to come in town. Got him put off for a week. He's cool. Got my Aunt Charlotte coming in town. My mom's all tripped out about this because I don't think my Aunt Charlotte's ever come to visit her before, ever. And so, Mom's just like, oh my gosh, your aunt's coming in town. And we have to do all this entertaining, and I am going to be going through IVF. My mother lives an hour away. They're going to be wanting to come over. I, I have to get my house all ready, and, you know. Well, actually, I'm just going to hire someone to come do that. But, you know what I mean. It's just a lot to think about. And my aunt's the one that's not super keen on this whole IVF thing. And she's kind of wondering why I'm doing this at my age, and... Just, I know it's amazing how family can say some tacky things to you. I think they're, well, I know they think they're coming from an area of love and concern, but it just kind of feels rude, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't want to hear that, you know? And I had to be the bigger, better person in one of our conversations and just go, look, you know, aunt, I know that you are concerned about me. But really trust that I'm doing this for all the right reasons. I know what I'm doing, and I appreciate you, and I love you. And um, you just got to have faith in me that I know. And so she's like, okay, you know, I'm just, I just love you. She was like a second mom to me growing up. But Anyway, that's all I have to report. I'm going to go with that. And I did go see my other doctor about my little thing, little ter irritation thing going on. And um, we out. We haven't determined anything yet. It could be from the meds. So, she swabbed me and I'm just going to run some tests and just see if there's, you know, I don't know, bacteria or whatever. So, that's it. Thanks for listening. Sorry, I'm like kind of a uh, drag. I'm sitting in the parking lot of where I bought my sunglasses and there's all these people walking around looking at me like, what's that lady doing? I don't know. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.